I'm getting a puppy! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I guess. Um, so today is a really exciting video because I'm getting a puppy! Oh my god, like this has been a dream come true. I have wanted a dog like my whole life because I'm an only child and I just feel like if you're an only child you get a pet um so most of you know Jimmy um he is like the cutest little thing and the love of my life I literally call him like my true love because I feel that way <laughs> but um he is my grandparents dog and unfortunately after they passed away he has been living with me um however like I was never really there for him as like a puppy and when he was growing up like I've only had him for two years I've of course spent lots of time with him every year I mean pretty much every day I would like see him for most of his life but yes he has always had someone to live with and um, like once now that he is here when we go to work he's all alone in the house and I just feel like he feels so lonely especially because dogs have separation anxiety and I know that we are in COVID right now, but I feel like sooner or later things are going to open up and I just don't want him to feel so alone. So I thought that he deserves a friend and I am ready for some more responsibility and to have a son because I call him my brother. So <laughs> I'm ready for a son now. Um, so yes, and he is coming today. So I haven't gotten him yet but i will this evening so so excited um but yeah till then i guess i will just kind of do a mini haul of everything that i got and if you're planning on getting a dog then perhaps everything you can use this like your checklist kind of a thing so luckily i didn't need to buy too many things because jim already has some stuff so the one the things that he doesn't use anymore i just got those which was his food and bowl because he's a weird one he doesn't have like water and like normal he wants it to be in like a terracotta like pot that's like the only thing that he will drink out of so his water one he doesn't use anymore and then with the food i started giving him homemade food just for his weight because he was a little fatty so i've got like a normal bowl that i use for that so both of his food and water bowls he doesn't use anymore so i can use that for my new dog and also his crate that he used for whenever he was traveling and when he was a little puppy I can also use that. Jim, do you want to say hi to... No, he doesn't want him. Anyway, so those were the two things I did need to get. Um, and also treats and like shampoo and conditioner and stuff and like grooming things. But the things that I did get. So here is everything. Um, so the first thing is a blanket. This one is so soft um, and I'm going to be using this inside his crate just so that he can be cozy and comfortable. Look at Jim just looking. Um, and then I got him two toys. Also funny story, Jim started eating one of his toys because um, I accidentally got it so small. Like just this is my hand and this is look, look at how small this is. Um, so it's comparison. So it's really small, right? And like just for fun, I was comparing it next to Jim just to see how small it is and then he started like eating this up <laughs> he's coming back so I got Jim a bigger version and hopefully he is okay with that um he is not he's just really into this look at it anyways then I got him a second toy because I felt like he needs more than one Jim just wants it um and then obviously because he's got a puppy he's teething I got him a bone so that he can like chew on um, this is his bed. It's super soft and fluffy and I feel like he can just dig and sink in. Um, and then I got him a collar and a leash. That's pretty much about it. And this is just so beautiful. It has like gold detailing. Um, and I also ordered dog tags for both Jim and, oh, his name is going to be Timmy. So they're going to be Jimmy and Timmy. And Jim and Tim. So yeah, I ordered one for both of them so that they can, I guess, have like cute little ones. Um, that has like you know my number and saying that they're microchip just in case god forbid if they ever do get lost <coughs> they can come back um and also yes i forgot one thing unless it like fell off somewhere yes 
cleaning <laughs> to get rid of the urine smell and to get rid of all of that. Of course, I'm going to be toilet training him, um, except until he is a puppy, I'm pretty sure he is still going to be making some mistakes and accidents. Also, I didn't get pee pads because I don't want him to get used to the idea of like peeing inside the house and thinking that it's okay. So that's why I just want to make sure that he like only goes out. Um, and yeah, so I just realized I didn't tell you guys what breed he is. So he is a Cavapoo, a Cavoodle, and he is 10 weeks old when I get him today. Um, and he is a boy, obviously. <laughs> Um, and yeah, he's coming from Queensland, so he's going to be super tired when he comes here and I hope he is going to be feeling okay. But honestly, the thing that I am like the most worried about is like Jim. I hope that he is okay and he doesn't feel like betrayed or abandoned or sad or anything like that. And I hope that they get along. Um, because yeah, he is an oldie. He's turning 15 this year. So he can be a bit moody. <laughs> Most of the time he doesn't care, but still, I just hope that he is okay because I know the puppy is gonna like adjust anyways, irregardless, but more so for him. So the idea is if Melbourne gives us good weather and it doesn't rain, <laughs> then the idea is for me to take them out to a park, both of them, um, because I did some research and they said that you should like introduce them in a non-territorial environment because obviously Jim is going to be a bit protective and territorial about the house. So it's good if we take them somewhere neutral like that um, and then just kind of like let them like sniff each other out because you know when you're outside he doesn't really care and then just kind of slowly walk towards the house. Um, so that he feels a bit more comfortable and he's used to the smell of like the puppy and the puppy being around and then that should hopefully be not a problem but if it's raining or it's too cold or dark because he is coming at 7 30 then i might just have to introduce him in the house so fingers crossed that goes well but i think that is pretty much all that i have to talk about before he comes and then I will obviously show you guys what he looks like, their introduction um, and then just what it's like to have a little puppy. So hopefully next time that you see me, I'm going to have a puppy with me. <laughs> Timmy, this is him. Um, so Jim is not really having it, like he's not um, doing anything in particular. Like he just doesn't really want to talk with him or do anything, which is really sad because Jim seems really sad and he won't even come near me anymore. But <laughs> on I guess a brighter note, here is Timmy. He is actually so much tinier than I thought he was and he's so full of energy which I did not expect and he just wants to play with Jim but Jim is just not feeling it. <laughs> I will show you guys. So he is my dog, my puppy. I got him with my own money and he is like my own responsibility and everything so I'm really excited but I just want Jim too. So. Let's hope that they become friends over the next few days and stuff, and yeah. So, unfortunately, it turns out that he likes to wake up at 5.30, and I don't wake up till like at least 10. So, this dude woke me up in the morning, and unfortunately, Jim went to my parents' room and then just decided to stay there the moment he saw that this guy came out of his crate. Um, so then I've just been trying to play with him, get his energy out. I fed him breakfast and everything. And I'm hoping soon that he can go for like a nap so that I can chuck him back in the crate and then give Jim some time as well. But it's good. He's um, eaten his food and he's gone to like pee outside twice. So that's great. He was really good during the night as well. Like he didn't cry or do anything at all. So I slept pretty peaceful he's just he is an early riser i'm not but yeah that is it i'll keep checking in <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> oh yeah. So today is day two of having a puppy and this is where I'll probably end my vlog as well. Um, you can see that he is over there like playing, enjoying. Um, but basically, yesterday was actually really good. So we did quite a lot. As you know, he woke up at like 5.30 a.m., which is way too early for me. <laughs> I don't wake up till like 10. Okay, he is literally like going crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it was way too early for me. Um, but then I like played with him, trying to get his energy out. I fed him food and stuff. And then around 7.30ish, I put him back in his crate to sleep. And by that time, I came and kind of played with Jim, gave him some love and attention as well. But as I mentioned, like Jim didn't want to be in the same room. But now things are so much better. Even like yesterday itself, it improved quite a lot. Like Jim started being in the same room and he also started like sleeping next to him. So like literally by tea time, they were both like sitting next to each other. Um, so I think they're now more acquaintances. Um, and then I think they will progress to being peers and then maybe someday friends, best friends, brothers, finally. But it's okay. I read that it usually takes about a month for dogs to adjust. And naturally for Jim, like he has been like an only child for 15 years. So I think it will take him a while. Um, sorry, they both are like here and they both are going crazy. So this is Jim. <laughs> just seeing how everything is going and that's him and he is in jim's bed i don't know why he keeps doing that i keep trying to take him out but he just does not listen no timmy come off 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 and i have to like pick him up and chuck him in his bed which he for some reason does not want to be in i do not know why because jim does not like it when people are in his stuff and i'm in fair enough i wouldn't like anyone stealing my stuff either but yeah, that's what happened. And then we also went for a walk, which was really good. Um, even though I haven't trained him on how to walk on a leash, I think he learned because he was looking at Jim. So he kind of figured, oh, okay, this is how you walk. Um, there were a couple accidents and there've already been a couple accidents today as well. It was so annoying because I literally just took him out and he did not pee. And I was like, okay, maybe you don't need to pee. And then I come back in and the moment we come back in, he pees. But that's all right. Like, it's only been a few and it's only day two. I'm sure, he will learn soon enough. But yeah, so they aren't doing too bad. And last night, he did cry a bit more in his crate. But that was all right. I just let him, like, cry out. And then he slept all good. And then I think he only woke up at, like, eight or something, which is good. So we are getting a bit better but yeah so as you can now see um they're chilling in the same room so he is in his bed 
and then Jim is just over there <laughs> sitting and sleeping. I was just doing some work, but they're getting a lot better, which is great for me. And I think sooner or later, like they might be friends one day. One can dream. But yeah, that is about it from me. And it has been exhausting having a new puppy, but I knew what I was getting into. And to be honest, it's actually isn't that bad. Because most of the time he just plays with himself <laughs> or he just falls asleep, which is literally my mood all the time. But yes, that is about it. Me getting a puppy um, and having like a dog and trying to make them to be friends and get along and kind of trying to handle all of that. But yeah, so um, you guys can definitely follow them on fat.gym. So that's going to be the handle and both of them are going to be there. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.